We're back with another tier list. Been a while since we've done a tier list, but I thought we're in the January transfer window. Why not look back at the summer and rank all of the signings that Rangers made? Of course, they were all Geo signings. Geo still in the job. But we're going to rank them all here on Tier Maker. That I actually created. I had to go through the effort of creating a Tier Maker account just to put a bunch of pictures on this to do it. But we've got five categories. We've got great, we've got good, we've got average, we've got bad, we've got awful. Now I'm going to factor a few things in. I'm going to factor in the fee, you know, how they've done. And also, I mean, like, injury stuff as well, you know. So we're going to factor that in. And we're going to go from left to right. And... Up first, we have got Rabi Matondo. And by the way, I don't sugarcoat things. Everyone knows here that I don't sugarcoat things. I say it how it is. Matondo, we signed for, what, two and a half million, I believe it was. And we have gave him massive fucking wages. And you know what? He's actually done nothing. Like, it is... If it was a free, it would be bad. The fact we've spent two and a half million on him and given big wages, and he, he's done nothing. Name me one Matondo goal this season, and even if you name me, like, what's he done? Big matches, big moments, did he haw? Now, I think when he came on against Liverpool at Anfield, he was alright, but that is, like, the only thing. I, what, he's actually done nothing this season? You know, he's still young, I, I'm hoping for the laddie, but the new manager's come in, and he's still done he haw, so I, I, I don't know, you know, honestly what is going on there. But anyway, next up, we have got Ben Davies come in. Uh was injured, wasn't really getting in the team and then was getting in the team and he's had his partnership with Connor Goldson. He's been good with Connor Goldson, but you've got to factor in the start of the season too and it's not been great. I mean, we're I mean, under Geo, man. Fuck it. It honestly doesn't even feel like this season. We were getting pumped in the Champions League every week. It doesn't and then just, oh, I, I know with Beale, like the football's not been great. It hasn't been. I think we've all got to admit that, but has been so much better than Geo. And for Ben Davies, we did have to pay a lot of money for him. I do think it was too much money, but I don't, I don't think he's been bad. I would say he's been average. So Ben Davies is going in to the average thing. Next up is John Sutter. Uh, he played one game, then he got injured, and he's still injured. Um, You know what? We, we signed him on a free, right? And I truly believe John Sutter's good. See, on his day, he is... He's fuck. I think on his day he's great. I think he's Scotland's best central defender when he's fit. But that's the problem here. When he's fit, when is he fit? He's never fit. And I'm not. I don't think he's awful, right? It's a free. We didn't waste big money on him, and you know we also didn't spend money. Oh, but we didn't spend money on him in January last year. But I mean, if we did, fuck. Maybe how how different would things have played out across the board? You know. If we signed John Suter last year, still think we still should have done it, but I'm factoring that in as well. We didn't, and we actually saved money, and you never know. Maybe that fucked everything up. But anyway, coming in next, we have got Tom Lawrence. You know, for the first couple of months, he was like the only shining light in the team, apart from Cholak. You, you've got to be real. and But he's been injured since then, and I'm going to put Tom Lawrence in good. Very good, very good. Um, uh, next up, though, we have Antonio Cholak. A lot of goals, but you've got to be real. Since he picked up that injury and Beals came in and Morelos is featured, we've not missed Cholak. We haven't. I mean, you, you've got to be honest. I don't think... I think it just shows how good Morelos is. I don't think we've missed Cholak. I mean, he's featured there, here and now. He's picked up a few knocks, but... Is he played good under Beal? Like I said, he hasn't had many chances. But again, he's still got a lot of goals. And I'm going to put Cholak behind Tom uh, not Tom Lawrence. I was going to say Tom Davies. Uh, Tom Lawrence in good there. Which leaves us with only one more player. And that is Red Fan Yilmaz. And where are we going to put Yilmaz, guys? Um, again, a player who was signed for a lot of money. I think he's got a very high potential. He's been all right. I think he lacks a lot of physicality for the league that we're in. But, you know, there's going to be a... We're going to, we're going to make profit on him. Like, I don't... It's never going to be a loss with this guy. Um, I'm, I'm tempted between average and bad. I'm going to... I'm going to put Yilmaz top of bad. I am... I think that's fair enough. I think if most people were doing this, I'll I'll leave a link in the description 
for this. But I think if most people were doing this tier list, that's exactly what they would do. But anyway, until next time, leave your thoughts down below and peace.